Hello! In this video, we will be importing the Exodus um, XOP account into the XAM wallet, so into the XAM app. So the first thing is that it's basically always the same procedure. So either if you're using the Exodus wallet, which is very well known, or also if you're, for example, using the Atomic wallet, so, so it doesn't matter if you're using the Access wallet or the Atomic wallet. So any software wallet where you're able to extract your mnemonic is fine. So it's basically for all the same procedure. You have to go somewhere to your wallet itself and go to something like settings. So uh, uh, settings or something like that. And now we have to extract the mnemonic. So that's the important part here. So we'll go to backup. That sounds good. And there is the important part with view secret phrase. So there should be there, there there's that for all the programs. Uh, so it doesn't really matter if it's if it's um, like I said the Atomic Wallet, the Access Wallet, if it's MetaMask, or whatever. So all the software wallets usually have the ability to show your show you your mnemonic. And when you unlock it now, we can see here my mnemonic. So don't bother. So you can obviously take my mnemonic. But the thing here is, this is a account created with zero, with a balance of zero. So if you try it, you can obviously, but there's nothing in there. There's nothing to get. And right, so let's continue there. So again, we go to settings, we go to backup. We want to see your secret phrase here. So it, it depends, different length. So it's either um, like, uh, like I said, 12, 16 or 24 words. And now we go to the XAM world. The thing here is, uh, so again, I've got my cool password of 123456, and we're going to switch account, and we want to add a new one. And then we're using the button for import existing account. We want, so either you can use an address for read only, meaning that you can only see the transaction balance and stuff like that. So that's something anybody can do for any address. Uh, but we want to full access, so meaning also that we are able to send and sign transactions. And now we've got multiple options to import that, but in our case, we would be using the mnemonic. So we go to next, understand, and now we have to select the right amount, so that's important here, obviously. And then just enter all the words here. So let's quickly start. It's ball, um, problem, earth cancel, problem, earth cancel, let's go on, false coach tiger, false coach tiger. Let's go on, so I'm gonna scroll down. Midnight remain foil amount. Midnight remain foil amount. <coughs> and the last one was double. So we've got that one. We uh, don't have to add anything here. We don't also don't need an, uh, an alternative derivation path. We go to next. And if everything, if I did everything correctly, so now we can check if it's, so if we got our account, you can also check that. If we quickly go to our assets and search for XRP and check the address here, so if we click on receive, we can now compare. It's RFHS, whatever, and also it's here RFHS, so it's that account with zero balance and all of that, so that's why it's telling me that. So just go to next, now we can also label this, it imported account. Um, and we're all set and ready to go. So now everything is great. So now you can you can go to the XOP Toolkit website, and you can use a phone to also uh, sign the access to your um, so to get access over the XOP Toolkit with the XAM app. So now you can just scan it here. So I can't do that here because I don't know how to quickly change the data feed so it can scan the QR code so I didn't look it up yet um, but that's basically the basic functionality I would also recommend if you for example importing your uh, Ledger Nano S mnemonic I would remove that account afterwards uh, because obviously um, you now import it also now you've got two points of access so now you can access your account from the XAM app from your phone and also from Ledger Nano S which is fine it won't ever make problems but the thing here is, it's much safer storing it on your Ledger Nano S than on your phone. So also, it's safe on your phone, but um, still, compared uh, with... So, in both ways, you don't have to be that afraid that, we're, that anybody's going to gain access. Yet, it is a lot safer having it on your Ledger Nano S.
So meaning that I would recommend like using Exam Map for another second ac uh, wallet account with a smaller balance, uh, so you can quickly do daily transactions. So it's quick and fast. So you can also sign with fingerprint, so it's easy and fast. And on your ledger. The ledger is a vault, basically. So on the ledger, you store like uh, so. It's still not on the ledger, but if the access code to the ledger, there should be like um, like the big sums and big amounts on the ledger. And in exam map, there should be like I said. So if you have a second account exam map, then it's uh, fine that there's not that much on it. Uh, I'm also going to quickly create a simple graph here, so you get the the gist here. So we've got, for example, your XRP account, okay? So let's say we've got it here as a so in the software wallet. So this software wallet is obviously as safe as the XAM map, okay? So also that. And we've got that account here. And the thing is on that account, for example, we've, we've stored, uh, so we've got the ba account balance of, for example, 200 XRP, okay? And the thing here is then we've got here this software wallet. So in my case, it was Exodus. So this is Exodus. And this access wallet, with this access wallet, we, if we, uh, we have the mnemonic and all of that, and we can sign, and we have access onto this account. Okay? Uh, then the next thing is, and now also when we set it up for the XAM wallet, it's basically, th it's the same principle. Now we've got the XAM app, which also does the exact same thing. So we can now use both, we've got now two points of access more or less. So you can access it with the XAM map and also with Exodus. Meaning that it doesn't matter if you, for example, delete now, uh, so if you go there, so when you're done with signing all of that, and for example, this is the access to your ledger wall where, where for example, is lots of XRP, so for example, 200K, which is a lot, uh, then obviously you, so let's call this, in this case, let's call it then a ledger and NOS here. Uh, that this is the access also to that account, then it would recommend after. Uh, so obviously we wouldn't even have to do that since the ledger is supported. So never mind there. So let's just go on. And now you can also again remove the access. So you can just go again to your XAM map and obviously go there. Oh, I meant like you have to go to settings, go to pr accounts, and then scroll down to um, I call the thing imported account that one here, and you can also remove it and confirm and it's done now that access is gone and you can only only access it now from here and yeah that's the basic gist of it so you can do it with any account and right so thanks for watching and see you in the next video